next morning. Good morning, guys. Yeah, did you get that? So, today, last full day here in Ibiza. We had quite a late night looking up accommodation, flights for Barcelona, which we leave to, to tomorrow for our final leg. Look at the day, what a cracker day. What a cracker day out here. So, just walking to go get a coffee, and then um, I think we're either gonna take a boat ride, or we're gonna take a, a bus or a taxi. Um, we're gonna go visit one of the beaches. Which one? We do not know just yet, but we've got two in mind, so um, we'll obviously decide once we are functioning post coffee. So, like I said, late night, went to bed at about five o'clock in the morning. So I had a bit of a sleep in, got up around 11.30, and it is now about 12.30. So, first things first. We are just chilling by the pool, killing some time because we're going to catch a boat to an island called Fermentero. It's a beach, sorry, a beach on an island. So we're back at the hotel, enjoying some of the uh, lovely views and the lovely sun. Check the view out though. We've got about 30, 35 minutes to kill. Just full of beaches and uh, push bikes. So we'll get on a push bike when we get there. We'll ride to a few different locations. Check out that lovely blue water and uh, we'll show you guys what's around. But for the time being, the beats and check the view. One hour later. Do you know what they call it? No. What? Think it's called Dreamland. One, two, three, So we finally made it. I slept most of the way here because I am not a very good seaman. So just uh, looking for our bikes. Get something to eat and then we'll uh, head it to the beach. Not a bad looking place so far. We are ask these guys. Five minutes later. up our bikes and we found a little uh, cafe here called Cafe Del Lago so we're just going to get some light lunch um, and then we'll do a 10 minute bike ride to our first beach destination so um, amazing weather like I said a little bit of lunch and, uh, and then we'll set off so first things first let's eat They never fail to give us bread and 
Alegro. Later. Food just came out, so we got two things to share. Um, just a light lunch, salad, and a calzone. Something small, something that, like I said, we'll just tie us over probably till dinner. But um, then this came out. So just waiting to board back to the mainland where we come from. It's been not too bad of a day. The sun's been up and down, hiding behind clouds, but all in all, it was good to come out and see. Good to get a little bit of a bake. Look how red I am. Rach is black. So uh I'm told that the uh, the boat we're going back on is a bit quicker, which is good. And we've made it back on dry land, so just got off the boat. That was a bit quicker than going out there, about 20 minutes quicker. So that's a positive. So just making the trek back to the hotel because I don't know where they dropped us off somewhere the other side of town that we haven't been. So getting those steps in and. Uh, Enjoying the last night here in Ibiza. Eight thirty PM. We are strolling to the gym. So we just freshened up, had a shower. See how burn my face is. That colour. Look how black she is. Hold up. So like I said, um, we're just heading to the gym. Got a leg day. Rach, what are you doing? I'm not quite sure yet. Um, depends what's available, so I'll decide when I get to the gym. You'll probably do a full body. So um, I'm going to try a different gym out if I can find it and uh, hopefully get some footage for you guys. So fingers crossed. No, it says no identification. All right, gang. Leg session done and dusted. My apologies once again. I couldn't get a, any filming done in there, but there's a reason for this. And it's a first for me, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's a first for Rach. So we went, um, found a gym not too far away from the gym we went to last night, and they're actually affiliated. This one is a little bit cheaper, so five uh, euros cheaper, so 10 euros per visit. But the catch is, 
Not that there's anything wrong with this, but like I said, it's a first for me. We stumbled into a, into an all boys club, if you know what I mean. So, like I said, first for me, Rach. Ever had one of those before? No. Nah. So Rach felt a little bit out of place. She thought she was the, uh, wasn't supposed to be in there, but she got her session done and got it done. But, um, you know, on the positive side, if I did need a spot, there'd be a few of them there to, uh, to help me out. So making our way back to the hotel, it's 10.30 p.m. Um, no doubt we will be having something to eat and uh, no doubt that we will be going to bed late once again. So this is our final night here in Ibiza. It's been a blast. I definitely recommend this place, not just for the partying. If you're a partier, definitely come down. But you know, there's a lot of other things to do here. The atmosphere is awesome. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit sad to, to leave, but the night's not over yet, so stay tuned. What time is it? 11.20. 20 past 11. Just making our way to get some dinner. Don't think we'll go too far tonight, so no city treks. Um, so just going somewhere around the area, so we'll see you guys there now. All right, here we are. Didn't go far, so we've come to a place called America. So, yep, Spanish. We're in Spain. In a place called America. Not a bad menu. Quite a big variety, which is good. So, I don't know what I want to get yet, but guess what they bought out for us. Third time lucky, let's give it a taste test, shall we? Sangria, bottomed up. Bearable. I can actually bear that one. Probably the first time I've ever had something like that. Well, sangria that I can bear. So, time to get some food out, shall we? Lasagna. Rach has got an omelette as a starter. Rach. Last night. Cheers. Rach just got the classic steak and chips. That's it, last meal, well, well dinner. dinner, last dinner, yeah. all over here in Ibiza. What do you I'm, think of the meal? Um, the omelette was okay, the lasagna was pretty good. S steak and chips, nah, no good. I thought it was disappointing, I wouldn't go back there again. So, there's uh, a review right there, the American, don't bother. Thoughts on Ibiza, quickly. So good. I feel like I'm saying so good to all of them. <laughs> but um, yeah, the vibe's pretty cool, and um, you know, don't go by other people's feedback where it's just party town. It is party town. It doesn't stop. But you can come here and just enjoy the beaches um, and the restaurants. So it's good for both. So yeah, I like it. If you're a nighttime person like we are, there's plenty to do. Like she said, it's not always about partying. It's about going out, seeing things. Shops are open, coffee shops are open, food places are open, so. Easy to find food. Good fun, definitely. So we're gonna call it a night there, strolling back, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning and uh, back to the airport for our last leg of Spain. Barcelona, here we come. The next morning, Final day here at our hotel in Ibiza. So, we've got about three or four hours to kill. So, what better way than to get some rays? Check the day. Gotta miss this 
place, definitely, for the vibe, the constant uh, atmosphere, definitely the sun. So we're heading back to the hotel. Just went and got a coffee, our final coffee here in Ibiza, unless we get one at the airport. We walk past this local uh, little corner store to get some water. The water's two euros, so we've opted for a cider, which was at 180. Beats me. So Rach is gonna give us a bit of a review, bit of a taste test. What do you got, what's it called? It is a premium apple cider. Wouldn't even know. Harlig. How to pronounce it. Khalig, Swedish, for so, lovely. I love a good cider. See, to me, that's amazing. Hot day, love a good cider. Refreshing, strawberry and lime, so good. What a cracker day for a cider. I'm not a big cider fan, but I'm gonna give you guys my opinion. So, like I said. Does he even like our Harlick, no, he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> Smells okay, fruity, strawberry and lime. That's a good flavour, I guess. Yeah, smooth. I could drink this. Drink 50 of them? I could drink 25 of them. <laughs> so this has got 4%. Yeah, not bad. One hour later. All right, we made it. Just took a while to get a cab. Lines were down, so just got in. We're um, about to board, so hope you guys enjoyed Ibiza, and uh, we'll see you guys in Barcelona. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you did, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, and uh, see you in the next one.